All right, you asked about the jacket. It's officially open now. Let's get some, uh, what do you think? Now, this is the least amount of bikes I've had here in a long time. Look, John's going to get us lunch. Thanks, John. It's a Zaxby's day today. These are done. There's John. These need to be done. Yeah. That's actually not what today's video is about, but I figure I might as well show you around the shop really quick because I do have big news. So, that's outside. Let's go inside. We'll check it out. Hey, Ace Dog. Bye, Ace Dog. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, Marty, old warranty manager at the shop. Rock on. Greg. What? <laughs> new, Fly the friendly skies. Yeah, new tech. Just here. Oh, it's focusing on my finger. So, really quick before we get into the new rider gear that's coming out. Greg, how, how many years of experience do you have? 24, 25? 24 years, Harley Davidson experience. Remember when I told you I needed somebody in here that doesn't suck and I could leave on their own? Well, I, I got half of what I needed, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> All right, now let's get this box and we'll check out the new gear. So, normally I'd film in the shop, but... So we're in the break room. I think it looks the same, big TV. <laughs> and I should really clean that up. Uh, reorder of shirts. Kind of machine. I moved the water cooler because it was noisy. I did mention that in a video. The loudest water machine ever. Just listen to it. That noise water machine, it's out of here. Actually, I've been talking about doing it for weeks, but I just did it now because I'm gonna film a video in here. Engine Hawk. It's a new company from Rurock. You guys have seen my helmet videos. I actually, I've been trying out prototype versions of the Hawk IUV and the Ironhead. I haven't filmed a video. I don't like a leather jacket to be too long. I like it to end right here when I'm sitting down. It's a little longer in the back, so hopefully my butt crack ain't showing off there by when I'm in that riding position. Oh, check that. Suddenly, oh, suddenly it feels a lot better with this. It's a nice little, uh, I'm gonna dub this the fat guy zipper right here. Suddenly everything is much more, much more uh, comfy in this general region here. Truth is, I filmed a lot of videos over the last couple months. What's up guys, welcome back to Maxwell's Motorcycles where we are gonna do some dyno jet power vision SNS combo review thing today. But they just never seem to make it to the, through the editing phase. Um, if I wait too long between filming and editing, I just lose interest, but I've really been needing to tell you all about this. And I know y'all want to see like other videos too from me. Um, that's coming though. Cause I've been on like November Black Friday. That was like my last video other than I need a tech to hire, which Greg Suckin is a reference to that video if you hadn't caught that. Uh, what am I looking for? Um, you know, the usual highly motivated, punctual, all of those things, of course. If you have three years of experience working on Harley Davidson's, then, you know, and you're like not, you don't suck, then yeah, I want yours. Don't bother watching it, it's old news now. What's up, buddy? Hey, you say hey to everybody? Come here, come here, come say hey. Say hey to everybody. Ace dog got big since the last time y'all saw him. Oh yeah, this is my doggie. Y'all haven't met Ace yet. But yeah, hopefully over the next couple weeks at least, I have some videos rolling out because Dan from Gears and Gadgets. Hey, I'm Dan. Helped me film and edit and get some stuff out for you guys because, man, I miss you guys um, a lot. So, the box. Ace really likes packing material. All right. Check this box out because companies are always really proud of their their packaging. Ah, a little, little, little engine hog going on right there. Engine hog was born to revolutionize the motorcycle industry and completely redefine what motorcycle apparel can be. Welcome to engine hog. Um, really quick before I look at this, they really are. I mean, they 
they just have really good ideas in general. There's been this semi-private uh, Facebook group where what 18,000 members have been inputting what they want to see in new motorcycle apparel, where the stuff they're wearing now falls short or what they do like about what they wear now. So all that's kind of implemented into what Engine Hawk has done. Oh, wow. So paper bag. Sack. Gotta stick a pack. Oh wait, this is not the helmet. The, I mean, the jacket is not in this bag. They just sent a bag. Pretty good looking. Uh, a jacket, a, a bag for the jacket. It looks like it probably fit in here. Okay, this is that part where I am 99.9% .9 sure everything that I'm showing you right now comes in the package if you were to order a jacket today because you can't today. It goes live. Well, I'm filming this video at lunchtime on Monday. They really do want to revolutionize the motorcycle industry. That's not some line that they put in there. They legitimately make sure all their stuff is top notch, tons of testing, all that. Like the prototypes that were sent out to everybody. I'm almost positive they sent prototypes out to people from that Facebook group too, not just YouTubers and things like that, but not that YouTubers aren't real people, but you know, normal people that had no skin in the game type stuff, you know, just to see what's up. But this is the iron head. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think the chain hook so that it's nice and strong. You can't see because it's not focusing on it. That hook, nice and beefy. Engine Hawk, size large. That kind of fits me these days. It is very Harley-esque. The rest of the jackets uh, are less and less Harley, more sport bike oriented, probably. Not necessarily, but really it just depends on your style. Has snap buttons. You know what, let me, let me. Snap buttons over the double zipper from the top, from the bottom. Oh, bro, for real? <laughs> The zipper is a little bitty connecting rod. Oh, there we go. Zipper from the bottom. I appreciate that because I have a big fat gut and it makes it comfortable when I sit down. Maybe skinny people have this problem too. Probably so. You sit down on a motorcycle seat and your feet go up, you know, like your old jacket like rides up on you. Unzip that bottom zipper and everything kind of lays flat again. So, oh, only the bottom zipper is a connecting rod. Top zipper looks like a regular one. Now, there's a lot of safety stuff on this jacket. Back armor, shoulder armor, elbow armor. Um, that would be all the armor that would come in a jacket. Okay, lots of safety stuff that I don't fully, that's not really my deal. Um, you know, I ride Harleys. Uh, <laughs> half of us don't even wear helmets, okay? Um, so if you wanna know more about the safety stuff, Check the link in the description. Uh, you don't necessarily, you know, you can buy there, but if you wanna know more, I'm, I'm trying to be quick about this, keep my editing down. Try not to bore you guys with all of that. Oof. So, I'm in this weird size. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. Sleeves fit beautifully in a large. In my 210 pound frame, 5'11", the, uh, Actually, this jacket fits perfectly here. I think the prototype felt a little tighter. I had that for about a month. Maybe I lost a couple pounds. Who knows? I mean, we, we can wish, right? Uh, nice chest pockets here. Boom. Really important. Yes. Zipper pockets. What do I have in here? Do not eat for days. I'm going to save this little snack for later. Yeah, this is... Very comfortable. Okay, the, the collar, oh, snap, got, got a snap in the collar. I really like the look of this jacket. It is, it's good, it feels, I mean, you know the deal. You know those bike jackets that you get at like bike week, they're like a hundred bucks and they're like, oh yeah, I got a leather jacket and then like, but do you really? You got like some pleather business that is probably gonna fall apart this season. Yeah, this is not that, okay. And that also means that it does not cost that either. Um, 
Retail price is $4.99, I believe, on this bad boy. With the, I do wish the collar was slightly lower, although in the cold winter times, this is gonna be great. Uh, as, a, as a wear it around kind of jacket, because part of what I like about it is, yeah, I mean, I probably rode up on a motorcycle, I'm wearing a leather jacket, but it's not like screaming, you know, it's not like Marlon Brando, old school, with the side zip thing, you know what I'm talking about. It is slick, branding is extremely minimal. A very small Engine Hawk logo right there. Engine Hawk on the buttons. Very, very small branding. I was just right next to the mic, that was probably miserable. Sorry guys, a little rusty on my filming. Um, that's the jackets guys, there's a ton. There is a, uh, they released, I'm not even gonna pretend like I know. Uh, I saw all of them there. All really good. Honestly, I got my pick in the prototype and it was very hard to decide which one I would want. They were actually nice enough to send me two because I really, this one fits my style better where the Hawkeye UV just looks really good. Um, I'll cut to that from that old video. Man, I hope these fit. This thing is so heavy. This is like legit leather jacket, not Got padding all up in this thing, which is not really my my uh, my cup of tea, you know, the padding. I'm not real into that. I'm a Harley rider after all, not a sports bike rider. Oh, like a glove. It's a horrible Jim Carrey impression. So basically that's how it rolled. Prototype sent out to a lot of people. Uh, we all had some feedback for them. They made some changes. Um, zippered sleeves the prototypes did not have any like netting right there so it's kind of super floppy so I can appreciate that the you know I do remember one thing about the safety oh, well actually no okay because I don't care about safety right like I mean I want to be safe but then you know also want to be comfortable and stuff I'm wearing full armor which is part of the cost it comes with full armor can you tell that I have a jacket on with armor? Like, really? There, there's an elbow pad in here. They're uh, shooting for, they're, they're still in testing for the AAA certification. I do remember seeing that in the Facebook group today. Dude, cannot feel it. So now, while I don't care about safety, I am being safe, which honestly I can appreciate. I mean, I do have like a small army of children now. I, if I were to get hurt, my business would suffer severely where you know, self-employment stuff, but yeah, uh, that's probably enough uh, rambling. I didn't show you the bikes inside, so I'll make Dan do that uh, when he gets here later tonight. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, give a big dirty thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, you better pay attention because there's no YouTube schedule. I just post it when I got it. Don't forget to check out the link in the description for Engine Hawk, probably for getting some stuff. Hey, until bye. Later guys, hope to see you soon. Catch you in the next one. Can you tell that it has pads in it? Yeah, I felt them when you yeah. handed it to me. I can't even feel it while I wear it. You can't see it though. Yeah, you can't. That's perfect. Chain. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I like that it has the uh, snaps and the zipper. Yeah, I think so.